Ever go to Starbucks? Yeah, of course. You get your morning coffee? Well, I prefer the local version, but sure. Okay, well, be on the lookout for this. This is what's called a Pineapple Nano. This has a script for it that you run that pretends to be whatever the nearest Wi-Fi hotspot is. It clones its identity, kicks everybody off their local Wi-Fi, makes them connect to this, then it connects to that. So it runs everybody else's traffic through this device. This, this little device. This little device. Because it used to be, when I were talk, was talking to people, there'd be a truck that would park out in front and they could accomplish that. But this can be done with this little device. Yeah, so now they have a battery that you can connect to it and you can actually wear it inside your shirt pocket. So you don't even see it. You don't even see it. And you... So when your computer logs on, it's looking it's for Starbucks Wi-Fi, it's actually logging onto this. Yes. And then, and then it routes it through the Starbucks Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, so it makes one connection to the Starbucks Wi-Fi, and it makes everybody else connect to it. So it takes all the traffic from that Starbucks, routes it through that, and saves it on your machine. And your computer's probably set every time you go to Starbucks to automatically log on, it'll automatically log on to this instead of actually directly to Starbucks, and they can take everything from you. They can take everything from you. It's also great for hotels, airports, and other places where people are expecting public Wi-Fi. Yeah. So. so I thought a solution for a problem like this was to carry my own MiFi card, but now I understand that my MiFi card can be spoofed into thinking it's hitting the cell tower and it's actually hitting... Yeah, there's a device similar to that. It's called a Hack RF1 that will do that. Yeah. So that's only like 100 bucks. The Hack RF1 is only 300 so you can, for 300 So I'm getting a more sophisticated class of criminal trying to get my stuff than the average guy thinking I'm being so smart going to, through the cell towers, but essentially we're vulnerable. Yes. Yeah, that's why I don't to talk to, about anything important on my cell phone unless I'm running an encrypted uh, client, like a silent circle or something like that. So I have voices encrypted from me to the tower to whatever, and then decrypted at the other end. And then finally, we get to this little gadget, which looks like Nothing. It looks like a USB hub. It's a little bump on a wire. So yep. what this does is you plug this into Ethernet. a router, yeah. uh, one side, you plug it into your computer and the other, and it's got a little switch here. And if I put it up here at the top position where it says tap, then all I have to do is plug a USB device into it, and it'll save all the packets both directions going through this. So it's a network tap that does not show up on this the This is hidden behind your desk. You would never see this because your desk is up against the wall and you've got all these wires running through it anyway. Yeah, so hide it behind a wall. On engagements, we've used this to, we were hired by, say, a store in the mall. It lost all its credit card information. We paid a girl to wander in there uh, to stumble, spill her purse in the ground, and then plug one of these in under cash register. We were able to take all the data off the cash register transactions back and forth, track that to the financial server, had the key password to the financial server, and we were able to look at all transactions globally by dropping... These are the kind of things that the big companies, Target and all those that have been hacked, little, little things like this enable bad people to steal all that information, and then all of a sudden I'm notified my credit card number has to change. And all you need is a junior college level understanding of networks and some spare time to watch YouTube to figure out how to use these and a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I, I think of a t-shirt, uh, um, Target got hacked and all I got was free credit monitoring service, you know, or something like that. I mean, we're all being impacted because this is so prevalent yeah. and it's happening at major corporations with sophisticated IT departments, and they're still uh, succumbing to these kind of hacks. Well, if you're a major corporation, you need somebody from outside your organization to try to hack you under contract to find out where your weaknesses are, because until somebody tries... And you've done that. That's what we do. That's what you do, okay.